If they want to smack your face across their billboards and put you on their um, radio stations and their magazines so they can sell more ad space. Five weeks on the beat. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Cardi the King, a.k.a. Young Cardi, and you are now tuned in to Major Key Unlimited Podcast. Now, we got a banger of a show for you today, but before we get into that, Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe this joint. Now, we do have a, uh, a Cash App and a Patreon. It's going to be available somewhere down here, either up here. You know what I'm saying? We'll have links available all throughout. Um, feel free to just go ahead and donate whenever you want to. You don't have to, but it's available whenever. It would be greatly appreciated. It helps the show out. It will help to further the production, you know what I mean, later on, um, just to keep on bringing you some, some bigger, better bangers, you know what I'm saying, get a bigger, better set help us get on location um things like that so without any further ado we'll get into some more stuff i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys today about jay-z 99 problems okay so this is a session that we call bar for bar where we take some of the most iconic bars from some of the most iconic artists of all time take a deeper dive into what the bars mean uh, take a deeper dive into some of the alternative meanings behind some of these bars and give you a, just a different perspective. Come along with your boy. Take a, take a deeper dive into this 99 problems and see beyond that surface level of 99 problems. You know what I'm saying? The intro. If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. We all know what that means. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. We ain't got to get into that. I got the rap patrol on Gap Patrol. Foes that wanna make sure that my casket closed. Rap critics say he's money cash holes. I'm from the hood, stupid. What type of facts are those? Alright, so obviously, you know what I'm saying? I got the rap patrol on the Gap Patrol. So we already know how that be. When you wanna come up, people pocket watching. They wanna see what's going on with you. You making your moves in the industry. You know what I mean? Um. The person around the corner from you in our communities, the majority of our communities, uh, you know, they pocket watching. They want to see what's going on with you. They 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 on that gap patrol. They they got that thing tucked on the side. They they trying to keep the next man from coming up because they want your spot. When they say foes, they want to make sure that my casket closed. Just like I said, you know, they 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 got the thing on tucked. So rap critics saying that he's money cash hoes. It's like, of course, I'm from the hood, stupid. What type of facts are those? So that's the things that we praise a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of the money coming up. We see the, the people on the corner that you see that you idolize, the 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 drug dealers who be doing anything for the hood, you know what I'm saying? Um, people running the gambling spot. If you grew up in a certain time, nostalgic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, those are the ones that we looked up to, the, the, the dope boys that was iconic, doing certain things for the community or whatever, so money cash shows. You know what I'm saying? What type of facts are those? If you grew up with hoes in your zap of those, you'd be celebrating the moment you was having dough. Which is a clever line because a lot of people didn't even realize what he was saying. If you grew up with hoes in your zap of those, that's a Spanish word for shoes. So, and especially with you being, you know, living in New York, it's such a diverse culture. I grew up in New York, you know what I'm saying? Outside of Queens. So if you, uh, it's such a diverse culture. So when you when you growing up around Dominicans, Guatemalans, Spanish, Puerto Rican, all of that, you know, you pick up different words like that. So um, for him to throw that in there, when you grow up with holes in your zap of those, you be celebrating the moments you was having. Though you know, I'm like fuck critics. You can kiss my whole asshole. If you don't like my lyrics, you can press fast forward. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to have people. Praise you all of the time. I'm not looking for your approval. You know what I'm saying? So just fuck it. Keep on going. And uh, uh, just if you don't like what I'm talking about, then it's plenty of other stuff to choose from. And you you can just uh, keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So I got beef with radio. If I don't play their show, they don't play my hits. Well, I don't give a shit. So you know what I mean? So they tried to use my man when he when he didn't come up on a show and, you know, help promote them for more than, uh, you know, what what they wanted. Well, if he didn't promote them the way that they wanted him to, they would act like they didn't want to play his songs. And he's like, OK, well, I found an alternative route. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need you to. I got that hustler mentality. I got the hustler spirit. So. 
I don't need you. So it was a lot of beef that was going on between him and Hot 97 at that time. You got to understand, we talking about 2003. Um, Ebro was shifting over to being a program director. You know what I mean? Uh, starting to really control the radio station. You got to realize, Jay-Z, this is 2003. This is the Black Album. This is... The spirit is in the air. Jay Z is 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 uh, retiring. This is you know the the button up wearing. I'm on my grown man shit. I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. I'm stepping into the realm of my businesses and I'm really you know making money outside of everything. So everybody's like, okay, whatever. You on your grown man shit. You don't need us. You don't need whatever, whatever. Okay, well don't come up to hot nine seven. Don't do this and that. Go over the power. Go over the go over the one hundred five if you want to do that. Don't come over here with that. So it was it was a lot of beef in the city. It was a lot of smoke in the city. And you know Angie Mars, she the voice of New York. You know what I'm saying? At that time, she was still at hot nine seven. Y'all might know her at power one hundred five right now, but Angie Mars, she been a voice of NY for for the longest time right now. Back when, uh, you know, Kiss FM, Hot 97, you know, when it was back then. You talking about 93, Kiss, and all that. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, 90, 95, 93, all that shit. So, yeah, yeah. The Rap Max try to use my black ass so advertising can give him more cash for ads, fuckers. I don't know what you take me as or understand the intelligence that Jay-Z has. I'm from rags to riches, niggas. I ain't dumb. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. So just like I said back in the past, you know what I mean? They try to use you for more than what you're willing to give. They want to smack your face across their billboards and put you on their um, radio stations and their magazines so they can sell more ad space. I don't, I don't know if y'all know that that's how radio... And um, magazines work, you know, you sell ad space, you sell ad uh, campaigns for for marketing uh, dollars and things of that nature. So when when you're selling that ad space and getting that ad revenue, and especially when you have a big name, knowing that people are going to flock to that magazine to get it because of that big name being there, you know, they're trying to use you. But meanwhile, your name is selling that magazine, but you're not going to get those dollars that's coming off of your big name that they're getting from that ad revenue, you know, he's not dumb, he's he's hip to that, so it's like, hey, you trying to use me, but I ain't dumb to that, so if you're not going to come up off of those dollars, you know, we can do this another way, like, it's got to be a fair trade, so it's deeper than rap, so that's, this is what these lyrics mean, it, it's a lot deeper, it goes deeper than rap, you know what I'm saying? The year's 94 and then the trunk is raw When my rear view mirror is the motherfucking law I got two choices y'all Pull the car over or Bounce on the devil Put the pedal to the floor Right? So Yo, this sets up perfect I'm talking about like It's it's, it's just It's perfect because it, it paints a picture You could close your eyes, right? So you It's 1994 Yo, you just picture like this This dope dealer You driving this car Right? And so you know, you know when your trunk, you just fully loaded. You fully loaded. You got a pound, you got a couple of pounds of your trunk or whatever, right? So now you see these lights come on or whatever. So you know it's Johnny Law in in in, in your mirror or whatever, right? So now you sitting here thinking you like, okay, I can either pull this joint over, or I can just put on that gas and just yeah, you know I mean, I can just take off. Now I can make a big scene. Or I could just pull over and see where this takes me to. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's the... I don't know. You know what I mean? But you know that feeling. If you ever been in that hot seat, you know what I'm saying? Now your heart your heart is pounding. Your heart is pounding. You know what I'm saying? If you if you ever been pushing that or down on that highway from Maryland, going going to New York, you know what I'm saying? Coming back, you uh, you know what that's like. So... Anyway, now I ain't trying to see no highway chase with Jake, plus I got a few dollars, I can fight the case, so I pull over to the side of the road, I heard son, do you know what I'm stopping you for? Cause I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low, do I look like a mind reader, sir? I don't know. So you know what I'm saying, you gotta pull a little kind of smart ass car with him for a second because, you know what I'm saying, he pulled you over, you in a nice car or whatever, so automatically, you know how it go when you black, you young. You out here, you doing some nice things. You might be fully legit. You understand what I'm saying? But 
he sees you in a nice car and all of a sudden they pull you over because, you know what I'm saying? Oh, where your papers at? Like, where my papers at? I don't understand how you mean where my papers at. Like, what is this? Are you, you talking to me like you a Nazi or something? Or like where my freedom papers at or something like that? Like, this ain't 1894. What, what are we talking about? So, you know what I'm saying? You're not sure how you want to take that. So, but yeah, um... You know, I got a few dollars. I could fight the case. So even if it does go to trial or go to court or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I got some money stashed away for for rainy day. That's what you, you know what I'm saying? Real hustlers keep that money for trial. You know, you got to be a little facetious for a second because I'm young and a black and my hat real low. Do I look like a mind reader, sir? I don't know. <laughs> Am I under arrest or should I guess some more? Well, you was doing 55 and 54. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, license and registration. License and registration and step out of the car. You carrying a weapon on you. I know a lot of you are. Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take that back for a second. Let's take that back for a second. Yo, what the f*** with the barking? Let's take a second. Like, what the fuck? Am I, so he said, am I under arrest or should I get some more? We used doing 55 and a 54. Okay, now that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's just a mind tactic, first of all. Like, that's just showing the irony of how officers could be fucking with you. Like, he was fucking with him in the beginning saying, well, I'm not, am I a mind reader, sir? I don't know. But now the officer's kind of fucking with him where you was doing 55 and a 54. But anyways, now the officer goes on to say license and registration and step out of the car. Are you carrying a weapon on you? I know a lot of you are. So it's like, wait a minute. What do you mean I know a lot of you are? Are you carrying a weapon on you? I know a lot of you are. Did you mean that as in like, I'm a rapper? You think I'm a rapper? Are you saying that as in a lot of black people? Are you saying that as in a lot of drug dealers? Are you saying that as in how, how are you saying that? Are you carrying a weapon on you? I know a lot of you are. And it's just showing um, the state of, you know, how they think, and I say they as an officers, what they think about us on a general perception when we get pulled over a lot of the times. And I mean, you got to think this was 2003 and we're talking about 2021 right now. And this shit still happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, 18 years later, you understand what I'm saying? And, and we still, we're talking about the same problems and discriminatory issues. And that's still... It's just ridiculous, just to say the least, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, he goes on to say, well, my glove compartment is locked, and so is the trunk in the back, uh, and I know my rights, so you're going to need a warrant for that. Aren't you sharp as a tack? You some type of lawyer or something, somebody important or something? And uh, he goes on to say, well, I ain't passed the ball, but I know a little bit, enough that you won't illegally search my shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll see how smart you are when the canines come. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one, which is clever because he circulates back around to got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. But a canine, you know, female dog being a bitch. The glove compartment is locked and so is the trunk in the back. And I know my rights, so you're going to need a warrant for that. Don't don't try that. Don't 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 try that one because they can still, you know, some illegal searches and all that. But but even if. uh illegal search and seizures, that glove compartment being locked and the trunk being locked in the back, that's still just a little iffy one kind of up and, you know, um, don't, uh, don't try that one. That's not such a, uh, uh, a lockdown issue saying, you know, that, uh, that's a trustworthy one to go by. Even in 2003 standards, I'm not going to say that that was a, a good standard to go by. <laughs> so anyway, I, right, so now we get into the third verse. This is where the shit gets real interesting. This is where some, some, some real shit comes in. All right. Now, once upon a time, not too long ago, a nigga like myself had a strong arm, a hoe. Now, this is not a hoe in the sense of having a You have no goddamn sense trying to push me. Okay. I tried to ignore him and talk to the Lord and pray for him. Because some fools just love to perform. You know the type, loud as a motorbike, but what and bust a grape in a fruit fight. <laughs> so, now, let me pause right there. So, what's happening right there? is um my man's talking about he's talking about a lot of things right there okay so 
Once upon a time, not too long ago, a nigga like myself had a strong arm my whole. Now, this is not a hoe in the sense of having a pussy, but a pussy having no goddamn sense trying to push me. Okay, so, you know how that go. We all know how that go. You know what I mean? But, this is a particular instance. And, and you know what? First of all, I'm going to circle back around to that. I'm going to circle back around to that because it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get real particular. So, now the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get the clapping. He and his boys going to be yapping to the captain. And then I go trapped in a Kit Kat again. <laughs> back through the system with the riff raff again. And this is important to say. Uh... Beans on the, I mean, fiends on the floor, scratching again. Paparazzi with their camera snapping them. So, this is important to say. And the reason why he keeps saying again and again is because this is pointing to an instance. So, in 1999, you got this instance where, okay, so you got Lance on Rivera, right? So, Biggie, Notorious B.I.G., he got a friend. Lance on Rivera. Okay, so this is how everybody knows everybody, you know, kind of circulating around. <clears throat> so you got Big, you got Jay Z, um, and uh, uh, so now Biggie, Biggie knows Cam. Okay, Biggie wants to sign Cameron. Okay, at this point in time, so uh. Big wants to sign Cam and all that, but this is this is after now Big done passed away and all of that. Now Lance on Rivera is 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 Big's man. So Lance, you know, he kind of taken over. He started on entertainment and all of that. He goes on to sign Cam, and which is where Cam popped off and you know doing uh SDE, sports, drugs, entertainment, all of that. You know, Cam been popping off way before Dipset. All y'all late bloomers catching on the Cam with Dipset and all that. Go back to SDE and all of that. Unentertainment days when, you know, all this was happening back then. Anyways, Jay knew uh, Un from way back when, when he was cool with Big, okay, because Big and Jay had their own uh, group that they were trying to start called the Commission, you understand what I'm saying, which is why you can go back and find a song with the same title already, okay, so anyway, long story short, Jay, you know, he be having thing with these bros, with these females, or whatever, Jay had a, uh, <laughs> he had a relationship going on with Charlie Baltimore, and you could look up Charlie Baltimore, same Charlie Baltimore that was in Murder Inc. with Ja Rule and all of them. Charlie Fine, she found a motherfucker, which is why she has two daughters who are model. Well, one daughter that's a model, one daughter that's a DJ right now. All of this you can look it up. You know, I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Jay was with Charlie. Okay, Un was messing around with Charlie. People know this, and. Uh, Un was holding on to some of Jay records on top of that, but it was really more so about Charlie and all of that. Anyway, they got into a little, you know, riff rap. They got into a little scrap. Jay ended up poking Un. You know, he stabbed him up a couple of times, whatever, whatever. Got into a lawsuit and all of that. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Now his name got clear, which is why you remember the song, Jigga Kelly not guilty when they had they you know they had their song when they were uh did they project together or whatever made in America and all of that whatever whatever I think it was called made in America but uh or or something like that guilty until anyways whatever but uh yeah that's that's the reason why Jigga Kelly not guilty that's the reason why he was saying again and again and he and his boys gonna be yapping to the captain and dad go trapped in a kit kat again and kit kat meaning you know how kit kat is broken down into bars so bar 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 like gel like prison bars bar 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 back through the system with the riff raff again you know riff raff meaning scrapping around whatever whatever you know the da tried to give a nigga the shaft again half a mil for the bell because i'm african or because this fool was harassing them trying to play the boy like he's saccharin trying to play the boy like he's saccharin and what saccharin means is sweet that's another word that's a translation that people didn't understand so he's trying to play the boy like he's saccharin y'all trying to play me like i'm sweet y'all up in here trying to trying to talk you know noise you trying to bring 
all of this drama to me and you trying to play me like I ain't on that street tip and then he just started poking people so that's what he meant when he said you're trying to play the boy like I'm saccharin you know what I mean so um but ain't nothing sweet about how I hold my gun I got 99 problems but a bitch ain't one so that's why he repeated but ain't nothing sweet because that's what saccharin means so you know what I mean? So going into that, but Lance and Rivera and Jay had their issues, and he he poked them up over Charlie. So it's a whole thing. You know what I mean? So that's it's it's just deeper subplots going into 99 Problems. So to wrap all of this up, 99 Problems really goes into the story of Jay Z getting down and scrapping with Lance and Rivera, Jay Z and Biggie forming a group called the commission which would have been dope as hell if big had not passed away um big wanting to sign cameron and cameron and mace and all of them having a group children of the corn and all of that but you know that happened uh big passed away he couldn't sign him lance had to sign him cam had sde is a whole lot of history tied into all of this and the deeper meaning on top of all of this uh with 99 problems is what still happens today from 2003 to two, uh 2021 how the police still look at black men in america you know what i mean you could be driving in your car just minding your own business having a regular day listening to music now granted he did have drugs in his car but it could have been a regular day. You could have just been driving, coming home from work, and they look at you, and you still guilty until proven innocent. So anyway, this is a deep dive. This is uh, a bar breakdown, you know what I mean? And again, we got we got the cash out. We got the Patreon. It's either going to be down here, up here, wherever. You don't have to, but feel free to go ahead and donate. Like I said, it gets the it gets the stories. You know, we get a get to go more into detail, get bigger sets, get bigger everything, and um, it just gives us uh, more freedom to do some bigger things, man. So go ahead and go ahead and donate if if you want to. Not trying to peer pressure you into doing it, but yeah, man, this is this has been uh, Major Key Unlimited with your boy Cardi King, aka Young Cardi. Go ahead and like share comment subscribe and like i said make sure it's like super smash brothers and go ahead and pound that subscribe button out next time we get back to you holla at your boy <laughs>